Okay, we are here with David. David Carmack Lewis. And what type of artwork are you known for? Well, uh, I don't know who has a name. I, I, it's representational work. I, I kind of think of it as uh, kind of a magic realism. Uh, usually, most of the work incorporates something unexpected or unusual that, that kind of uh, it's meant to kind of jar the, the viewer into wondering what's going on. Uh, that's not the case in all of them, like this one, which is, is you know, just a kind of a realistic uh, portrayal of, of fire. Uh, but that was part of a larger uh, project, a whole series that I did um, that was kind of a non-fiction visual essay about fire and fossil fuels. And talk about the other work you've got here at the gallery. So actually what this show actually incorporates uh, probably three or four different bodies of work over quite a long period of time. So uh, a few pieces of it are, are like I said, from this um, sort of more straightforward, non-fiction, as, as I think of it, uh, you know, documentary style about fire and fossil fuels. But some of the other pieces are, like I said, kind of more of magic realism. I used to do um, a lot of pieces like uh, this one of a, you know, a train just running right through a neighborhood, uh, or this piece over here with a, you know, fire in the backyard and some mysterious event occurring over at the neighbor's house. So I would do a lot of kind of fun, playful, um, storytelling-like images. They're very enchanting. <laughs> Thanks. Um, what inspired that one right there with the house? Uh, well, it's an actual house uh, in the North Portland neighborhood where I live, uh, and then I, I just sort of snuck in a little reference to Mount Hood in the background, and and then I have this <laughs> threw in this beam of light coming down from the sky. It's just sort of a when I was a kid, I was sort of obsessed with UFOs, so it was me just having a, a bit of fun. Do um, kids really take to that painting? <laughs> I bet they would. I, I've noticed that, you know, I think uh, it, it definitely appeals to, to younger, uh, even a lot of young adults, you know, I think people who, you know, I'm not sure what it is, but yeah. It's it, very whimsical, yeah. it's very engaging. Well, you know, at, at one point in my life, I, I was doing a lot of uh, children's uh, illustrations, working on uh, ideas for picture books and stuff, so there's an element of that in, in my work that I think that still lingers bit of uh, storytelling for young audiences. <laughs> okay, so uh, one of the other more recent work uh, is, is kind of represented here. It's a little bit of, I, I'm exploring um, slightly different but related imagery. Um, also changing up scale. I always used to work on canvases kind of in the roughly three to four foot range. And I find when you're changing scale, working small, um, is a good way to help explore different techniques and, and, and then I, I go into that and then I zoom back out and work big again and it's just a way to, you know, learn and, and change things up and find new directions. And how long have you been an artist? Well, uh, I went to uh, school for, for art, but it was mostly for illustration um, and when I graduated, I was a staff artist at a newspaper uh, for a couple of years. And then I did some freelance illustration. Uh, I didn't actually show in the gallery until, I'm gonna think, I'd say it's 1994, maybe. So that was uh, 26. 26 years ago, so. <laughs> this is great. Thank and, you. And how long have you been working with the Attic Gallery? Oh my gosh, uh, pretty early on after, my wife and I moved to Portland in uh, 2000, and I think I walked into their shop like maybe a year later, uh, maybe 2001, and uh, they took, uh, took some paintings, and so I've been showing with them off and on ever since. <laughs>